All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, as the title reads, we're going to do a quick comparison review on the Cabo Wolf Warrior 11 Plus versus the Dualtron Ultra 2 in the Ultimate Electric Scooter Review. Now, guys, let's start with the Cabo Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. And I'm going to tell you what I love about this electric scooter because there's a lot to like about this electric scooter. I'm a huge fan of the double stems. I love the double stems. I don't really like the single stem too much. I feel safer with the double stems and the way they made this scooter. Ugh, they made this scooter such an off-road beast. I mean, it really is. It's such an off-road monster, this scooter. So I love the dual stems. I love the loud horn. I mean, it's like they ripped it off a compact car and put it on an electric scooter. The horn is so fucking loud. The bright headlights. The headlights are the star of the show. These headlights are absolutely amazing. They're super bright. Super bright. You don't even need any additional headlights with these lights. Not at all. Now, I also love the stiff motorcycle suspension that comes on the front of this scooter and I only weigh 140 pounds. I didn't even really break the fucking suspension in. I mean, I jump up and down on the scooter and it doesn't even bounce. That's how tight the suspension is. Plus, I don't know if you guys can see, but I changed the, I don't know if you can see, but I changed the cartridges on the back that go in the middle of the uh, springs. I got the hardest uh, cartridges you can get from Fluid Free Rides. So it's really, really, really stiff now, especially with the front motorcycle suspension being so stiff. Uh, so I love that double spring suspension in the back. And like I said, if you have a Cabo Wolf Warrior, definitely change that uh, back suspension after a thousand miles. I also love the frame, the frame, how it goes all the way around the scooter. Okay, and what's great about the frame is you can lift it very easily from the back. And when you have your, look, when you have your, your legs like this, I don't know if you can see with the helmet, your legs don't get all cut up because it's nice and smooth. Sorry, guys, I'm reading off of notes because there's a lot here to, uh, to get into and I didn't want to forget anything. So I'm reading off of some notes and I never write down shit, but I figured I'd write down a, a few things, a few things for you guys, just to give you guys a heads up if you want to buy a Cabo Wolf Warrior or a Dualtron Ultra 2 or even a Dualtron Storm because it's like the same scooter. So anyway, that's a good thing that it doesn't cut up your legs. The brakes, they could have been 160 millimeter rotors. I mean, not for nothing. They're 145s, they do the trick, but they could have been 160 millimeter rotors like the Cabo King or the Cabo GT. Uh, and I wish that they had nut brakes instead of the uh, zoom brakes because the zoom brakes kind of suck. I mean, they're okay, but they kind of suck. I mean, like I said, I wish it had the nut brakes. But, I mean, other than that, I love this scooter. There's not a lot to not like about this scooter. There really, really isn't. I mean, not for nothing, guys. Also, too, check out my uh, nephew's PlayStation 5. He put the Rick and Morty uh, sticker on there. Awesome. He's got the headset. He's got the controller, the Rick and Morty controller. He's got everything, this kid. He's like 11, 11 and a half years old. 10, I think he's, yeah, 11 and a half years old now, my little nephew. He loves PlayStation. Doesn't every kid love PlayStation, right, guys? But anyway, moving on to the Kabu again. Also, I love about this scooter, it comes on the Dualtrons and the Kabus, the EYE controller, wherever, however you want to say it, the Mini Motors um, controller slash speedometer. The speedometer is amazing. It comes on, obviously, the Dualtron as well, and it comes on mostly every Cabo Wolf Warrior that they make. So the speedometer is just like buttery smooth. I love that speedometer, and you could see it during the day. Not like other speedometers where you can't even fucking see what's going on during the day. Also, I love the blue lighting on the side of the scooter. Let me show you guys. You guys have probably seen it already. But the blue lighting, oh, it looks great. And it illuminates the floor blue. Very, very, very nice. Then, it's got a beautiful, nice, thick kickstand, which I love. It's got one of the best folding mechanisms on the market. I don't want to hear it. People debate back and forth which one has the best folding mechanism. The dual uh, Cabo Wolf Warrior has the best folding mechanism on the market. I don't want to hear it. It's fucking rock solid. It doesn't even move. The handlebars don't even move when you go back and forth. Besides the fact that it's a 5,400 watt peak power monster with two 1,200-watt motors and a 35-amp-hour battery. My God, it's such an, a fucking amazing piece of machinery. Now, let's get into the Dualtron Ultra 2 real quick because there's a lot to like about this electric scooter as well. 
And as you guys can see, I got the green, red, and blue lights going. I think that this is the best color scheme for the uh, Dualtron, in my opinion. Now, what I love about the Dualtron is I love the brakes. It comes with the nut brakes. It comes with the 160 millimeter rotors, which is awesome. But what I hated about this electric scooter when I first got it, it was creaking from up here and creaking from down here. I don't know why in the world Dualtron doesn't when they make the scooters, why they don't grease the top and bottom up so people don't have to bring their scooters back like I had to to get it greased. It's retarded. It's like a $4,500 scooter that creaks and cracks. Come on. Mini Motors needs to get that together when it comes to that. I'm sorry. Love this speedometer. Uh, the front headlights are awesome looking. There's three on one side and three on the other side, making it uh, six lights. It's got the most lights out of any Dualtron besides the X. Um, the Dualtron Thunder, even the Dualtron Thunder 2 only has four lights. So it's got six lights and it looks really good coming at you. But at night, it doesn't really illuminate uh, too much of the road. So you're going to need another headlight. I love the PMT tires. They're kind of like slicks in a way. It rides really smooth, very soft, uh, and handles great. PMT tires are a must. And when I first got this thing, it was, oh my God, it was so bad. You couldn't even go over 40 miles an hour because the steering would shake. It needed a steering dampener, damper bad, really bad. But now that I put the steering damper on there, it's perfect. What I love about the Kabu is the Kabu comes with a built-in steering damper. Uh, I mean, the Kabu, I mean, this is rock solid, man. When you put your hands on this thing and then you put your hands on this thing, it's a big difference, though. You feel like more secure on the Kabu Wolf warrior i don't know what it is about this scooter it's so rugged if you guys are in the market for an electric scooter go with the cobble wolf warrior 11 plus or the king you could get the cobble wolf warrior for what uh, they're 2800 bucks from Fluid Free Rides. You could get the King for three grand. Miss, Mr. Dualped, Chris Dallas, is selling his piece of shit Dualped Ultra for $3,000, and that ain't no Cabo King. But anyways, guys, what I don't like about the Dualtron 2 is the pencil kickstand. Horrible, 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 horrible. Look at the difference. Nice thick kickstand, pencil kickstand. Other than that, I don't, I love everything about this scooter. The deck is huge. I mean, it's got a nice place to rest your foot. It's got great lights on the back and the front. I mean, it's just a great scooter, great suspension, big ass battery, 35 amp hour, just like the Kabu, pushing out 6,640 watts peak power. I got this bitch up to 61 miles an hour the other day. And if you guys want to know a good lock, this lock is the best, the kryptonite lock. Check it out, guys. Kryptonite, they make great locks. But anyways, just wanted to make a quick review for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.